Hey guys, this is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the Kerbal Space Program. And today we're going to continue day two of our epic multi-week adventure. This adventure being the Kerbal Space Program career mode. Now, in the previous episode, we did we got some science points up, and that was that was a good thing. That enabled me to buy some neat things over here. Um, we'll just start by making our return craft and then decide what we're going to do. Okay, so that's the way this sucker is going to come back into our atmosphere. Kind of like that to be centered. Good enough. Okay, so that's our little return pod. Let's start. Yes, let's do a little homage. I know how much you guys love those. We're gonna do a little throw out, a little was up to curb uh, SpaceX once again. SpaceX is the civilian rocket program, and I think it, I'm pretty sure it's American. And they do all kinds of neat space stuff. So we're gonna build. We're gonna build a grasshopper. The grasshopper was a really neat SpaceX rocket. I guess it's not really a rocket. Yeah, I guess it was a rocket. It's a terrestrial thing. It didn't go into space or anything. All it did was uh, it, had, it was pilotless, so completely autonomous ship or vessel. And it went up to, I think, like 500 feet or something, hovered, and then fucking came back down on its own and fucking landed. That shit's amazing. So we're going to sort of try and do the same. So we're just going to go up to say, let's do, I don't know, 250 meters. And then we're going to hold. Okay, we're still climbing. There we go. Climbing, climbing. Okay, that's apparently as close as we're going to get right there. That is pretty much a critical hover. That is awesome. Okay, now let's go back down. This is the hard part. <laughs> this is the part. I haven't tested any of this. You guys know how I love to do these things, to sort of fly by the seat of my pants. There, we'll, do, we'll do some science. For science! Fuck, I don't have enough electrical charge. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. movement, which is not good. Oh my god. 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 Nope. That is a fucking catastrophic failure. Okay, fuck that design. It, it fails in that when the craft starts to walk around a little bit like that, I had to make an adjustment to get off of that embankment and then I try to throw my lateral speeds down but it just it just doesn't work this game doesn't have the finite movement that a joystick say would a lot or even a even a controller of some kind would allow me to make faster movements the ASD and W fails it is a it's just a poor implement for the micro controls that we're trying to do to get these things to do what we want so that's that's unfortunate. Okay, so let's fuck this. Let's fuck this shit, man. Let's just do a little uh, a little orbiter sort of kind of thing in jigger. Um, something simple, just to get some science. She blinded me with science. Let's do. God damn it. There we go. Let's do that. Let's do one of these. And just to get up, that's what she said. Rockets. Sort of like booster rockets almost on the side here. Let's 
do these. They'll just be a little more efficient. Efficiency is key. Efficiency is key. Good enough. Okay, so those four go, and those four drop away. That one goes. We'll put that all at the same time. There we go. And then eventually, when that runs out of gas, that goes, that goes, that goes, and that goes. Yeah. Let's pull the parachute down. I still don't know what that little space shuttle thing does. Okay, let's let's give that a try. It's going to fly. I know that much. It's just, how well is it going to fly? How much science are we going to get? These are all important questions. Very, very important questions. Okay. It's looking good. It's not shimmering around. It's not shaking. That's a good thing. That is a very, very good thing. Got lots of thrust. Good on fuel efficiency. This is a nice little rocket. 10 out of 10. Let's see, am I making charge? Not yet. All right, let's really give this some serious speed here. Definitely going straight up. That's a good sign. We got no wobble. No warbling. We're definitely making charge. Let's do some science. Yep, definitely making charge like crazy. Point 0.1 science added? Come on! Got a good height to speed ratio going here with lots of fuel left in that in that middle portion, the main body. Let's start getting our, our lean on. Start turning this orbit. Oh shit, there we go. Didn't see that coming. Kind of scared me. There we go. All right, we got a good lean on. Let's do some more science. Perfect. Point one science. Huzzah. Breaking bank on the science department. <laughs> uh. All right. How is our apoapsis? Apoapsis is at about 50,000 meters. We want to see that go to at least 100. Things are looking good. Another point two science added. Good. Good, good, good. Speed's good. Fuel's good. Let's see, apoapsis. Getting there. Even at 65, we'd still be in pretty good shape. But I do want to see that get a little bigger. Let's just roll right over. So we're almost lateral. Parallel with ground. There we go. And we're going to throttle way up. There we go. Full throttle. Let's see if we can't bend it like Beckham and get at least a partial orbit. What the fuck? What are you doing? Where are you going? You fucking dick. Get back there. This thing is literally taking on a life of its own and deciding where it wants to go. So I'm going to have to manually keep this thing steering towards the yellow. Okay, let's back all the way off. There we go. We're going to let it just zip out there. There we go. Point into the wind. No, with the wind? Tailwind? Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Point in the direction we want to go. And we're going to punch it again. We want to see at least... I'm assuming around 2,000 meters a second or so. Give or take. Orbit is... Starting to become shapely. We're almost out of fuel, but we've also almost achieved an orbit. There it is! There it is! There it is! There it is! We have orbit. Huzzah! Let's do some science. Let's do some motherfucking science up in this bitch. 
8.2. See, that's a great scientific value. Another 0.5 and done. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go back in here, do a couple of laps just to, uh, you know, make the Kerbal felt like he has accomplished something coming all the way up into fucking space. It's right about here, this apoapsis, that's the farthest point away, 200,000 meters. Let's do a spacewalk. Yes. Look at how fucking happy that guy is. He is one happy motherfucker right there. Can we do an EVA report? I don't think we have enough. Oh, I don't even have comms on this guy. Okay. Awesome. It's like Sandra Bullock. I'm George Clooney in that movie that everybody fucking hates right now. Here we go. Can't I pick, can't I target him? There we go. All right, that's always a good thing to do is just make sure you've you've got, if you're gonna do a spacewalk, make sure you target your pod so we can see I'm, I'm moving away from it. So just a few taps and now we're moving towards it. It's always good to know sort of where you are in relation to your craft because you don't wanna get, you know, Sandra Bullocked out in space. George Clooneyed per se. So let's make our way back. I still can't do any science, can I? Let's keep the data. Sure, why not? <laughs> Look at this guy. He's a happy camper. Yeah, he's elated. He is, he is gleeful like a kid on Christmas. Okay, let's just hurry this fucking thing up. Oh, coming in hot. Coming in hot like space debris. It's funny, whenever I press down, he actually goes down, <laughs> even though control is supposed to be down. That's okay though, we'll let it go. We'll let it go, the controls are still finicky. Boink, and back in. Oh, okay, so let's get this bitch down. Let's get this guy to the ground. Is that ass to the wind? Is that slowing me down? Yes, it is. Why, yes, it is. Let's burn off what we got. And just gonna throttle down so it doesn't go all chaotic. Break away. Last engine. Say goodbye to our butt end there. See you, buddy. Later, space debris. Okay. Now we want to shed some speed with the intention of hopefully landing and land. I kind of want to land right there, actually. Yeah, good enough. Right in the crater. That'll be our pickup spot. The KSP, the Kerbal Space Program, will pick us up there. All right, so we're going to ditch our main body. So it is just the capsule and just our little Kerbal pilot, Mr. Kerbin, Mr. Jebediah Kerbin. That's about the direction we're heading, I think. Yeah, it looks good. Let's do a little fast forward and just, at least until we start to hit some air, start, hit those, start hitting those particles. Hit some neutrinos. Some ozone, some CO2. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Things are looking good. They're gonna start warming up soon. We should see that titanium plate under there or whatever the hell this material is on spaceships. I have no fucking idea. I am not an engineer or an astrophysicist or anything. I don't, I don't know these things. But that plate is a heat shield. This is how it is done in real life, except you'd never see this pod on here, nor would that thing be staying on right now. But this isn't a place of logic. This is a place of science. And science in video games is usually fake. This looks like a really good place for a pickup. You know, near the shoreline, the boats don't have to come far. We're keeping that heat shield in front of the craft, because we wouldn't want 
poor little Jebediah to burn up in there. That's not pleasant. That would not be a pleasant experience. I'm just going to turn the SAS off and let it fall on its own accord. We are going to let it shed quite a bit of speed before we pull the chute, though. You pull the chute too early, and it has that possibility of just basically ripping itself right out. So I want to see that speed come well below 150. Like right around here. That's pretty good. Yeah, 105. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, there we go, guys. Any, any flight that ends in no casualties and no massive explosions is a, is a complete success in my books. The Experimental Research Division definitely approves of our Kerbals coming back, even though it is experimental research, and we know that these Kerbals may pass away in the pursuit of science, but it's always good to see them come home. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know the drill. Follow the link if you haven't already in the drop down there and subscribe. That helps me rank, helps me get ranked better, lets other people see us. We get to play more games because we get more sub uh, suggestions. It's just it's just good business for everybody. If you subscribe, like, thumbs up, thumbs down, do whatever the hell you want. Guys, until next time, cheers. <laughs>